Hey, what's up, y'all? Happy trade day. I hope your day is off to a great start. Mine is, you know, I had a great workout today. You know, we're getting ready for our trip to Miami. So if you haven't registered for Bricks and Bands on the beach this Saturday at 11 a.m., oh, you about to miss out. But it's not too late. Go to effect.fitness.com and, um, you know, register. You know, it's a workout you won't forget. It's about to be a whole movie. This whole weekend is about to be something just amazing. I'm so excited. So come join us. Come join us. Come join us. I promise you, you would not regret it. But um, I wanted to start off by simply saying thank you to all of you who subscribed, who liked, who shared, um, or made some type of suggestion on, you know, something that I could, you know, a topic that I can speak on or, you know, just you know, ask me a question, you know, about something that you wanted me to talk more about, you know, on this episode of Trade Day. Um, so I really appreciate it. This is something new for me. Um, so I'm going to continue to grow. I'm going to continue to learn. And uh, so all the feedback helps. So thank you so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please continue to like, share, comment, all that. I'm open to it, baby. I'm open to it. Let's talk. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, so I I did ask that you guys either ask me a question about something that you wanted me to speak more on or um, give me some suggestions about some things to, you know, talk about. And some of you asked about, you know, my family. How did they react to me coming out as being gay, being that I was brought up in a Baptist church? I'm not going to tap tap into that just yet. I will when the time is right, but not just yet, okay? Um, but a lot of you asked about my love life. So I will speak on that because that's, that's an interesting su subject for me, being that I'm a single man and I'm looking for love. I'm ready for love and all of that for jazz or whatever. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Um... But I will say, you know, it gets lonely. You know, I have a little to no love life right now. And I'm okay with it because I say I'm okay with it. Meaning, I want to be complete, you know, completely happy with myself. Being okay being by myself before I get with somebody. I want to be complete before I'm with somebody. I don't want to get with someone to complete me, if that makes sense. You know how people say, oh, you know, um, they try to make their partners happy and stuff like that. I don't want my partner to have to try to make me happy. I want to be happy alone. And they just add to the happiness, if that makes sense. So I'm okay in that aspect. But I am ready for love. I'm ready for it. And it's hard being that. I'm popular, um, I'm an attractive man, um, being that I'm very, I'm a influencer, you know, some see me as a sex symbol, you know, um, I love showing my body. I purposely um, have my shirt off right now in, in my bedroom because we're talking about love and relationships. So this is how I like to be. You know, I have on shorts. Normally, I would be butt-ass naked. You feel me? Um, that's where I'm mostly comfortable. But um, I don't think YouTube would let me do that. You feel me? So, but a lot of people, a lot of men, you know, I'm very active on social media. And as you guys know, I don't mind showing my body whatsoever. I'm a nudist. I love being nude, you know. Um, so people see me on social media, so they automatically assume certain things about me. Um, I've heard on a whole, which I have been, I mean, let's keep it real. I mean, who, who hasn't like back in the late, late, late teens, early twenties, who hasn't been, who hasn't hold around? Come on now. We're grown. We're grown as I'm a grown ass man now. So, you know, yeah, I've done it. I've had my fun, you know, but uh, I'm past that. I've heard I'm conceited. I'm stuck on myself um, because I post my body a lot. You know what I'm saying? People just assume 
all types of stuff about me. And I'm one of the most loving, caring, down-to-earth people you will probably ever meet. And I'm not just saying that because if I'm speaking of myself, because I'm one of the first. I haven't always been this way, but current day, I'm one of the first people that will look at myself, you know, in any relationship, friendship, um, a, a, a love interest or whatever. I'm going to look at myself to see if there's something that I can fix before I point the fingers at others, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not that guy, you know, that's going to put the blame on everybody else. That's just not me. And people don't get to see that because they already have these, these, uh, these pre, um, I don't know what you call it, shit. But, you know, they already have their minds made up about the type of person I am. You know what I mean? And they're so wrong. You know, I've heard so many times, you know, when people actually, you know, take the time out to ask me my name or something or like um and they actually sit down and have a conversation with me they're usually surprised they're like oh my gosh you're nothing like I I thought you were I'm like well how did you think I were I, how did, what, what did you think about me and that's what I just said those are the things that normally comes out their mouth that's normally what they say so it's hard being a content creator you know I have an OnlyFans page um, like I said, I post a lot of stuff on social media, um, as far as my body. And then, you know, um, a lot of my gigs, usually the gigs that I get, they're usually either eye, can eye candy, you know, standing around just looking good, you know, bartending half naked, um, um, underwear shows or something to do with swimwear, something like photo shoots and stuff like that. It's usually about the way I look. It is. So, like, take my last um, relationship, for instance. You know, when we got together, they loved what they saw on social media. Don't get me wrong. They loved it. You know what I mean? But as soon as they get you, they want you to stop. They want you to stop doing this and stop doing that. You know, and that's, that's, your, that's your cash flow. You feel what I'm saying? That's your cash flow. Like bookings and, and things that, you know, bartending gigs and all this stuff. Like, that's, that's my money, you know. But because I'm, I try to meet my partner halfway. It's about compromise. But you can't lose yourself. I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that in a second. So, you stop doing those things. And then, well, I say I stopped. And then I ended up driving for Uber, driving for Uber Eats, you know, all this, you know, hustling and bustling, you know, home cooking, cleaning and stuff, trying to be a good husband, you know, not literally, but, you know, this other half, you know, trying to make sure I take care of home and stuff. But I was sinking, you know, my friends would joke with me and they were like, oh, you become a house husband. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. But yes, I, I had lost who I was. I had lost touch with who I was and became something else for my relationship. And at the end of the day, as you see, we're not together anymore. And when that ended, guess who had to dig themselves out of, you know, climb out of that hole? You know what I mean? Starting from scratch because I let everything go for my partner. I let cut everything off, all my connections, everything, I cut it off. So they didn't know what was going on with me. You know what I mean? They didn't know if I, if I was still bartending. They didn't know if I was still, you know, doing show. They, they didn't know nothing. So I had to rebuild those relationships. And I'm saying all that to say, like when you get with someone or someone's interested in you, they should love meet you where you are. You know what I mean? Like where I am now in life, like, it's like I can spot, I can literally, oh, 
notice the red flags instantly. And I'd be like, oh, I already see this. This ain't gonna work. You just, we got out at the bar. You upset because five people don't spoke to me. Yes, I'm, I'm well known. I mean, people know who Trey Presley is. You cannot be insecure with yourself and be with me. You cannot. Because that's kind of our that's that's coming out the gate with a problem. I'm telling you that right off. But I'm one of the most caring, loving, understanding people that you can meet. And I'm saying that because like I'm gonna meet you, like I'm gonna make sure I'm like I take care of you. Meaning like, if we're together and we're out, oh, I'm going to introduce you. People are going to know I'm with you. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to disrespect you in any way. But you have to understand, but what I do for a living, I have to, like, meet these people somewhere. It's like, it's a, it's a fine line. It's a fine line. Like, if someone says, I'll oh, you so, oh, my gosh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're so sexy. Oh, my God, I love you. I can say, oh, thank you so much. What's your name? Oh, it's Steve. Nice to meet you, Steve. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for all your, you know, for everything. I really appreciate it. And I might even give him a hug. You know, I'm, I'm from the South. I love hugs. A hug. That means nothing. So, I've been with people and that's like, oh, my gosh. You hugged them. Oh, you touched them here and you did it. Oh, my gosh. That would drive, that drives me up the freaking wall. Do you hear me? That drives me up the wall because... I don't mean anything about it. I'm a loving guy. You know, I may even be somewhat sad. So I would like, I say I'm a natural flirt. So I have to watch that sometimes because I'm naturally just flirtatious, but I don't mean anything behind. I ain't gonna do nothing, but I do have to keep that in check, you know, but um, yeah. And like when, if I get with someone and we meet each other halfway, you know, not, not meet each other halfway, but we accept each other for who we are. And we like, we build on that. Like, you know what I mean? Like we, we still getting to know each other. And I'm that guy that I feel like as I've grown in a relationship or the person that I would like to be with, I need them to be able to communicate. Communication is key. It is so key because because what I like today, I mean, I like two years from now. I mean, I, it could be sexually. It can be hell food. It could be the way we it could be anything. But my thing, you have to be able to communicate with your partner openly and be you, your partner can't make you feel like you cannot speak to them about anything. You know what I mean? Like if I'm not happy sexually. You know, I should be able to go to them. If my eye starts wandering and I'm starting to look at other people, something's, something's off. We need to discuss this. Let's talk. And if I'm, this is where I am. Everybody may not agree with this. But if I'm starting to feel like, okay, we've been together for five years, six years, seven years, eight years or whatever. And I want to explore something, whatever that may be with another person or something like I want to be able to talk to my partner about it. They listen and we come up with some type of solution. Whatever we agree on, I'm okay with that. As long as we discuss it, we both like come up with some, you know, solutions and we agree on something. Fuck what everybody else say. I don't care what nobody else say outside of my relationship. Am I, you, I'm not saying that I want an open relationship. I'm not saying that I don't. Whatever works for me and my partner, that's, that's what works for us. As long as we can communicate, talk about it, and we're both okay with that, let's do it, baby. And as things continue to come up, you know, we should be able to continue to do that. And I don't see how no situation can't work if you're able, you both have that, that, that common goal in mind I don't see how it can't work. But the thing is, I can't meet anybody that... I won't say I can't meet anybody. I'm not going to even sit up there and tell that lie. It takes me a minute to open up to people. It does. Because I have several people that are consistent with reaching out and trying to hang out and stuff. 
I think I've gotten so used to being by myself. So I do, that's just me being honest. I, I have to open myself up to let some people in. I don't know. So I say I want it and I do. But at the same time, you get scared to let 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 somebody in and into that vulnerable place because it's like you're starting from scratch. I hate trying to get to know somebody. It's like you gotta learn their likes, their dislikes. You know what makes them tick. You know it's just a it's a lot. So, but anyway, yeah. So that's me. You know what I mean? So I can go on and on and on and on and on about relationships and stuff like that, stuff I've done, you know, mistakes I've made, you know. But I'm so thankful for everything that I've been through, all the cheating, all the fights, all the, all of it, the three-way relationships I've been in, you know, I've experimented and it's brought me to a place where, like I said, I know what I want. I know what I want. I just have to, now that I'm talking about it, like I say, open myself up to, you know, to some people and possibly, it, it could possibly be something. I don't know. But yeah. So that's it for today, y'all. Um, thank y'all so, so, so much for everything. I love you guys. Um, please comment, share like dislike you know even you know just just give me some suggestions or, or give me some feedback y'all but um i'm looking forward to, to hear what y'all have to say <laughs> but yeah hope y'all have a great trade day you know enjoy your weekend if you haven't registered for bricks and bands on the beach in miami go to effect.fitness.com and register you do not want to miss this, okay? Uh, please share this video, subscribe, and yeah. Let me hear what y'all got to say. <laughs> I love y'all. Have a great day. Mwah. Yeah, baby. Woo-woo.